Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. So today I just want to talk with you about kind of figuring out how or what your goal is meant to be. Um, because if you have followed any of my stuff so far you know that um, my aim has always been to look after my family. Um, but I find that I'm not being serious enough about the method in which I need to do that. And um, I was listening to something recently and it, it sort of inspired me to work backwards, find the end point and then fill in the gaps in between. So that's what really I was trying to do. And um, I ended up kind of having a conversation with myself in my head, asking myself lots of different questions and uh, writing them down on this piece of paper. So I just want to um, share with you how my conversation went to kind of inspire you to, to do the same. Now you might find yourself feeling really, really stupid when you do that. It's not stupid. Um, you know, how many times have you asked yourself a question in your head, where did I put my keys? Or where's that gone? What do I need to do now? It's the same sort of thing. Um, and I find often writing things down on paper, sometimes I get that little bit further um, and I find myself answering and giving an answer that I didn't expect myself to give or that I couldn't find before. And so let me just run this through this with you. So as I say, my dream has always been to look after my family. Um, I currently live with my older brother. Um, my mum is 100 miles away and I have a younger brother as well who's about 60, 70 miles away. Um, my mum still lives in the family home. My dad passed away over two years ago now. And um, since then, obviously, to find that the family dynamics have changed. Um, and I would like her to really just have a good quality of life. She's still working. Um, I would like her to, you know, not work until the retirement age, which keeps going up, especially for women in the UK. Um, she, she puts in a lot of hard work. Um, I know she's massively, massively appreciated by her staff and all her customers. Um, honestly, I cannot tell you how many boxes of chocolates her customers give her at Christmas. We end up giving them away. It's crazy. Um, but this is a conversation I had. So here it is. So um, first person asked, "What would you like to do?" <coughs> and I said, "Look after my family." <coughs> and they said, "What do you mean by that?" Give them a high quality of life where they are both time wise and financially able to do that which they need and would like to do. How? What? Tell me a bit more detail about that because that was a bit vague. So I'd always thought I wanted to move back with my mum, but I have been fearful because I thought, well, I'll just fall into a life that's very similar to, to where I am now, if not worse, because I give up my job and my social circle would decrease and um, I wouldn't necessarily want to fall back into my old lifestyle because that wasn't taking me anywhere and uh, it was a lifestyle I had where I knew people after school and um, you know people change and grow up and move on um, and, and falling back into that lifestyle I'm not saying it wouldn't be good but it wouldn't it would stagnate it really would and uh, it would stagnate the people who I was with and uh, that's not a good idea Les Brown always says, you know, if you're the smartest one in your group, you need to get a new group. He also says, birds of a feather flock together. You can stagnate each other if you're not careful. You need to let each other breathe. Um, and so I actually then wrote down, see her retire. And this was a bit of a shock. Um, and then I put, to be honest, I can't really move forward until I know my mum's plans. She doesn't have plans. And he, we need to work together to establish where we could go so that we both have a future. Um, and I asked myself, and this is an amazing question that Justin Wolf introduced me to, he said, what is the cost of doing nothing? And he said that there is always a cost of doing nothing because we live in a world where things are constantly moving. Time is a natural mover of life. Um, and he said there's always a cost. And this is what I actually wrote down. Things will be fine until something changes. Which it will. As all things change in due time. I'm happy with my job. But I would also need to plan for the future. And I would like to support my family no matter what happens. It's not about being not in a day job. 
It's about being able to provide for them no matter what. Especially my mum when she is no longer able to look after herself. Which could be in the next 15 years. Because in 12 years she will be 70. I want to look after her and give her the best of her days. I don't want her life to be at the close before she's had a chance to live a full, abundant life, seen everything that she wants to see and done everything she wants to do. And this was quite surprising to me because my mum is not a frail person by any means. She's quite a strong individual but I she is a very strong matriarch of our family. We all depend on her massively. And I know, you know, she did go travelling when she left university a little bit. She didn't come from a very rich family, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and she only went backpacking with her best mate, which is wonderful. Um, and then obviously kids came along and we've been on family holidays once a year and things. But she, I knew she'd like to go travelling and I really want to give that to her. And I realised that my fear was that she was going to... You know how people just have suddenly have these accidents and, and they kind of change overnight and I don't want her to suddenly become frail and unable for whatever reason to do the things that she would like to do in her retirement. Um, and I suddenly realised that that was a fear of mine that was driving me. Um, and it took a while and it took this method to work it out, asking myself questions and writing them down. So this is a good method. Um, it's certainly brought some things to light for me which I didn't know I was thinking. Uh, Justin Wolf again, he, he, if you don't know who he is, he, um, he is a basically multi-business owner um, and he has been in business a long time. Uh, he's one of the mentors within my business group and um, yeah he he just you know always says go deeper, keep going deeper, keep going deeper, keep going deeper. Ask what then, what then, what then, what then? And that way you really get to the core of why you're doing what you're doing because you probably like me, I mean I, my life's okay, there's nothing wrong with it, I go to work, I have a job, I'm stable, I don't particularly worry about anything, um, you know, and that's fine but I would not have the provisions if something did happen to my family to provide for them in the way that I would want to and that for me is, is inevitable in the future we're all getting older um, and as I say for me because my mum is coming up to the retirement hopefully sooner rather than later um, she's, she, you know, she's, not, she's not even 60 yet by any, you know she's got a few years to go but um, I do want to make sure that that, that does happen I want to put through provisions in place for that so um, this as I say is, is a really useful method and it's helped me a lot so that's my insight from today I hope you're all doing really really well and um, as always I would really appreciate if you comment below and um, maybe try this method you know give it a go and put um, however you down below maybe you've got some extra tips maybe you had a revelation maybe you've actually were doing this and you found a better way or you know of a better way um, and I would really appreciate your insight on that so um, as I say, go for it. Um, I'm always here on pipweekly.com, the website. If you haven't visited that yet, it's got loads and loads of blogs. We try and release a blog every week, um, usually on a Sunday. Um, and it's just got different things about procrastination, living your best life, finding out who you are truly meant to be, and, and bringing yourself into alignment with your real purpose. Um, because, um, you know, as, as people say, it's much easier to live a successful happy life than it is to live a miserable uh, struggling life and uh, I think everyone should just live the best life possible for them so it's all free help yourself um, subscribe hit the bell get the notifications again on YouTube we try and release a video every week and Facebook pipweekly.com uh, we'll try and release something at least every other day um, if not every day on there and that's where You'll find out all about the videos and blogs that are being released so that's a great place to be so i hope i'll hear from you and until next time you take care bye now